Hello and welcome to day six of the 10 day mindful moments challenge. Special welcome if this is your first time joining. My name is Hannah Ray, and this is a 10 day challenge where we are working on just a few moments of breath work and a couple stretches in order to practice creating sustainable lifestyle habits by inviting some small moments of mindfulness into our day. So if you're ready, we're going to be going into the hips and a little bit into the feet today. So grab a mat and let's get to it. All right, so today we're going to do two sides again, plus another stretch. So we're going to just do our breathing during our poses today for the sake of keeping these videos as brief as possible. So today we're gonna to begin in our toe squat, beginning by just reaching back spreading those toes apart so we're getting an even distribution of our weight amongst them and here if this is super intense you can go ahead and bring the hands forward or maybe even come up uh, with a pillow maybe between the thighs and the calves here now if you can sit back comfortably then go ahead and either bring your hands into a reverse prayer or maybe just grab opposite elbows whatever is more comfortable for you today and begin to just breathe deeply here using that ujjayi breath as we inhale through the nose to that low belly space exhaling fully and slowly with that slight constriction beginning to follow the pace of that breath And begin to simply notice anything that's happening within the body right now. Areas holding stiffness, discomfort, maybe emotional energy. Taking inventory of the state of your mind and emotions without judgment. And as we're here, I'd invite you to consider one thing that you could let go of today in order to move you a little closer towards your goals or values. Maybe that's letting go of self-criticism, judgment, maybe of yourself or others. Maybe letting go of expectations Whatever it is, just holding that in your mind for a moment. As you exhale, releasing that now, bringing your attention back to the breath. Taking just a couple more breaths here. And with your next exhale, beginning to release slowly. Just giving those feet a minute, noticing the changes of sensation that's happening. Maybe it's tingling, buzzing. Just noticing that. And when you're ready from this tabletop position, we're going to step one foot forward, begin to walk it across the mat toward the opposite hand. And then we're going to begin walking that other foot backwards. So if this front shin isn't parallel to the front of the mat, that's okay. You can allow the heel to come back as mine has to do. And as you lengthen through the spine, exhale, chest comes down last as you begin to fold over that front leg. Maybe resting onto a pillow or a prop if you need to. And if your hips are super uneven here, you find that you're falling to one side, you can wedge a pillow or a blanket maybe under that hip in order to help even them out a little bit. But again, just take some slight micro adjustments, feel your way into the pose, and then settle into the stillness, coming back to that breath. 
Many people store difficult emotions in the hip region. So don't be surprised ever if you're doing a deep stretch and begin to feel some kind of surprising emotions arise. That is a actually very healthy process. So I'd encourage you to just breathe through that if you experience it. Allowing yourself to be however you need to be right now. <laughs> Inhaling deeply. Exhaling slowly. The mind has wandered. Just notice whatever's present. See if you can release that. Bring your attention back to the breath. Right, when you're ready, go ahead and slowly make your way out of this. Coming back to that tabletop position. And in your own time, taking it to the other side. Stepping that foot forward, walking it across, beginning to settle down. And again, don't forget to walk that back foot a little further away. So we're getting this full extension through the hip flexor. Inhale as you lengthen through the spine. Exhale, folding over that front leg chest and head coming down last. So we are folding from the hips. And breathing deeply here. Just noticing if this side feels any different than that first side did. Once again, taking note of our imbalances. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling fully and slowly, surrendering to this moment. Everything else can wait. You are exactly where you need to be right now. So allow yourself to be fully here, fully present. Inhale, imagine drawing that breath into that hip area, into the glute. Exhale fully, imagine that tension melting out of the body.
Go ahead and take just a few more deep breaths here. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and slowly make your way out of this pose onto your back for just a little mini Shavasana. So we can take just a few moments here to feel the echo of the pose. Taking a few mindful moments once more to just notice the effects of this practice on the body the mind and emotions. As always, stay here longer if you have time. But if you're ready to finish with me, go ahead and meet me in seated for a final closing breath together. Pausing here for just one more moment to come back to that intention of whatever it is you want to focus on letting go of today to move closer towards your goals or values. And let's inhale, reaching the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, hands to prayer at the heart, taking a moment of gratitude towards yourself for taking your time for this practice. Thank you so much for joining me for day six of this 10-day Mindful Moments Challenge. Once again, don't forget to tag me on social media using the hashtag Mindful Moments to help spread the word of this challenge and encourage others to join in as well. If you're just joining for the first time today and would like to find the earlier classes, those are available on my channel page. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all of my latest classes. Thank you guys so much for joining me and for being a part of this journey. I really hope you are enjoying it. And I hope that you enjoy the last few days of it as well. So I will see you tomorrow for day seven. Have a great day, you guys. Namaste.